Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, this first event of the drift season. Here with all my buddies at Shenandoah. Um, let me just go ahead and show you guys the car because I know you haven't seen any of this yet. Bam! So, didn't really do much to it other than change fluids and stuff like that, uh, mechanically wise, and then we just fixed up some uh, livery stuff. We got some uh, new over fenders um, here, pushed it out a little more, got some Cosmos racing rims, obviously a little color change in the front to make everything match there, new decals down the side. Got uh, added some more stars, and we also got some scissors in here that go with this part back here. Did a couple laps this morning already. Um, almost through one set of tires. Um, just taking it easy on the mini course. Um, trying not to burn up too many tires while we're here. Um, also, I know I mentioned before, but this is the enclosed trailer I got. I do have some clips of uh, me doing some of the work in here and uh, you know I might put those into a video eventually, I don't know, but um, yeah, painted it all up, got some cabinets, got some stuff organized and uh, it's working out real well. I got here last night um, and uh, slept in the trailer as my plan and it worked out amazing. So uh, I'm getting ready to head out and do some more laps on the mini course and uh, hopefully get some footage for you guys. All right, so we're going to leave my parking spot and we're going to head onto the track through the main entrance right there and we're going to turn around and we're going to wait and grit. So in the mornings, they do a mini course on one side and then it's a skid pad practice pad on the other side. We're going to be hitting the mini course. So we're going to wait and grid here and when it's my turn, we're ready to go. The mini course is always the same. You start out first hitting this big half of the bank through turns three and turns four. Takes you into a manji here between some cones and the barrier wall to a tight 180 degree turn. Um, as you can see, I take out a little cone there. And uh, then you head around this media box and do kind of like a little S curve. And you head back out onto turn three, turn four. And uh, that is the mini course layout. Uh, it works out perfect because what you can do is if you want to keep going, you can just continue around like I'm going to do and you can jump right back in grid. So here we are, back to grid, waiting on our turn. Usually never have to wait much longer than a minute or two, and we're ready to go out on the track again. So I love doing this mini course because it gives you this nice entrance here on the bank, gives you a good mix, and you'll see that coming into the Manji right here, I get my swing a little bit wider, I get a little bit more angle into it, which sets me up perfect to do a nice e-brake pull there and get around that uh, little horseshoe. And then we're going to do the S around the media box, and near the entrance. And when we're exiting, I love to get real close up on the wall, give people a nice show. So we're gonna get up there as close as we can and uh, go ahead around again. So on that lap, I noticed the car was getting a little bit loose. So we're gonna pull over here on the side in a safe spot and we're gonna let some air out of the rear tires and then we're gonna jump right back into grid. Uh, there's not much left on these tires, so we're probably gonna get one more lap out of it and then we'll be done. So we're waiting for grid for our turn and you know when it's my turn to come up head on out same thing hit that nice big bank i love it and we're going to head into the manji and we're going to get nice and uh drop some good angle into it again and uh yeah spin out right there on the horseshoe so obviously again tires uh tires were pretty much dead at this point car was getting real loose so we just kind of finished them off and burn the rest of them off and what we're going to do this time is after we hit this turn three turn four you're going to ride along that back stretch and then we're going to end up popping a u-turn so we're going to u-turn right here and we're going to go on the other side of this set of cones here that's the shutdown for the mini course and we're going to head right back out this back entrance that takes you around and through the pit and back to I came out of the fucking arm so yeah is, it, is the old one still in there yep so, I'm all, oh wow i got the well, jack under it i don't have it up yet i was gonna roll back i was gonna you got it it should be in gear okay. it might just be 
way it's... Recording this for scientific purposes. <laughs> mint. <laughs> Fucking mint. So here at Shenandoah, what they do is they do practice in the morning. So there's a skid pad and a mini layout in the morning. And uh, then they switch to a big layout. So I uh, just ate. I had some fucking amazing barbecue. And uh, now we're getting ready to head out to the big layout. Um, you know, it's test season already. Car caught on fire earlier today. A couple of my friends broke their cars already. One of them's getting his fixed up now. And uh, hopefully we'll be back out there shortly.
media guy wanted to die. He definitely just wanted to He was done. Right, that was fucked. That, that media guy fucked me. Who was that? Was that you? I did not mean to you were trying to die. <laughs> I swear, you guys were just starting the track when I left that dude. That's oh I was God. like, what, you I, at least filming as you were No, I should have been. Like, I was trying to book it across because the Miata passed me. I was like, all right, good to go. I'm like trying. I booked it. And I was like, I saw you guys. I was like, oh, oh shit. I'm like trying to slow down without having him fucking run yeah. into the back of it. Dude, I wouldn't have hit you. I would have right. slammed on the brakes and let him plow into me before. I was like, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> There's just a bunch of people over there. It's probably going really slow because he doesn't have the right air compressor. Yeah, he's got to take a little. We're gonna have to just rent one for next time if he doesn't have it figured out by then. Yeah. We'll get more than one person that's going to do it. I think we got two people. There's only one machine. Oh yeah. Like, my volunteer, he's doing a good job. I work at a tire shop. Huh? Look at y'all out here killing it. Come a long way. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Now y'all just need to bring the mullets back. I know, I miss mine. Oh, Chris here. I like your cut, G. I like your cut, G. That's all right. It's not going to be on there long enough to care. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so I noticed this guy taking pictures of my car and asked him if he wanted to go for a ride along. Little did I know he'd get the best ride along of the day. The wall ride in this first clip was absolutely amazing. I was so close. You can see the rubber kick off the wall. Got good angles from both sides. It was just awesome.
Last set, make it happen. I'm gonna film you. All right guys, so that's it for uh, today's event at Shenandoah. Um, the car survived for the most part. <laughs> um, did amazing. I uh, just realized I've been drifting all day with my ABS still plugged in, so I couldn't left foot brake the entire day. I was wondering why that was fucking weird. Um, but yeah, car survived. Run still runs great. And uh, yeah, that's it, so go ahead. And soak in this amazing view. Ugh. I absolutely just love this place. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oof.
racing, you might want to go move your car. <laughs> so, uh, nice. And then after the bank, if you come down, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there's some pavement. And then when you get right down there, mm -hmm. you start seeing some black. You know what I'm saying? You see that? Right where the change is It's colors. about 50 square feet of fucking rubber. Do you see what oh, I'm talking wow. about? It's right there. Would you look at that? I know. And that's I mean, it's I'm just thinking. a different, just right there, little ditch it's right crazy. there, man. So what I want what? you to do. You, How'd that rubber get there? That's what I'm saying. Is I want you to go down there. Uh-huh. And I want you to clean that like your grandmama's kitchen floor. <laughs> okay, cool. I just wanted to let you know that. You know, I only did that.